I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Bye bye Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes. Because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed as far as I'm concerned. I have messages for you when you want them. on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. Recent fiction by the biggies. In other words, nothing written by Gabriel. Keep gargoyle, eh? Grace keeps her art supplies here. Today's newspaper is on the counter. Times dated June 18th, 1993. The Aquarius horoscope says, Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. <laughs> right. Times dated June 18th, 9th. Potential storms ahead. Interesting. Snakes can sense their prey by vibration. Hmm. Did you know that medieval legends about dragons and giant worms are actually based on snakes? You know, dragons, devils, sea monsters. They've always been associated with snakes. Grace, get alive. Dry dropping, creaking, and mining shaft. Die Seele wollen sie, leben die Gesundfraus. Feuerigen Atems, gespaltene Zunge, genießen sie jedes Mal. That's nice. Kinda creepy, though. Who's the author? Heinz Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling this guy was one sick puppy. Gabriel leaves through a German-English dictionary. Reise means a journey. I wonder if I'll ever use this stuff. Gabriel looks at the cash register, checking for cobwebs. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? What do you know about voodoo? 
I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the papers, same as you. Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. What can you tell me about Norlands? I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. Do you have messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character is a female orthodontist. You're going to be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a real hate be. Uh, that's enough. Thanks. Do you have messages for me? You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call in Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Tell me about yourself, Grace. What do you want to know? How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books. And it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. What do you do after work? I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. Oh, I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Just tell me anything at all. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it. I thought spending a few months here would clear my head. How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know, okay? Nothing, I guess. Never mind. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. We had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. And she sent over that box on the table for you. So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics, for one thing. These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. What do you know about the voodoo murders? 
You won't get far questioning me about it, Sherlock. What do you know about voodoo? I've told you all I know. Sorry I can't be more help. What else can you tell me about knowledge? You're the native. Don't ask me. The box has Gabriel's name on it. Written in his grandmother's handwriting, Gabriel's father's old sketchbook sits on the top. I can go through the rest of that stuff some other time. Gabriel looks fondly at his father's sketchbook and charcoal pencil. Images haunt the pages of Philip Knight's sketchbook, the way they must have haunted his mind. The images touch a deep chord in Gabriel. So familiar are they that he finds it hard to believe they aren't from his own subconscious. Gabriel can't see any way to pick that up. Blessed caffeine. The wel The welcome mat is well worn. Unfortunately, that's only because Gabriel picked it up second hand, not because of the stampede of customers. The ladder provides access to the uppermost shelves of the bookcase. If you try to look down my shirt one more time, I'm leaving. Just trying to refresh my memory. I know what you're trying to refresh, and it isn't your memory. Get down. Grace's coat is a simple but classic trench coat. Gabriel hates people with good taste. Gabriel opens a cash register to examine the take. Or in the case of St. George's books, the mistake. I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. Snakes in a skull. Gabriel's father painted it. What a wacky, offbeat kind of guy daddy was. Nope. No safe full of money back there. Dramatic, isn't it? Gabriel didn't eat for three weeks after splurging on that coat. He has a thing for black leather. A little cold bubbly and brie cheese is about all Gabriel's fridge ever has in it. Gabriel, shut that refrigerator, please. Oh, I can smell it from here. Whim. The closet is loaded with white t-shirts. There's one black button down for those fancy occasions. A poster on the wall advertises Mardi Gras, the biggest party of the year in New Orleans. There's a flashlight on the dresser. The building's wiring leaves a lot to be desired. Might need a flashlight. I don't need to, thanks. I 
I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you need a touch-up. Let sleeping lions lie. I got that cheap at a garage sale. Always had a thing for lions. Gabriel's desk has been gathering dust since he wrote his last novel. Several dozen books, including a few of Gabriel's novels, occupy the shelves above his desk. Gabriel doesn't feel like reading right now. Gabriel's mini stereo isn't exactly high fidelity. Then again, neither is he. The Creole Grand Dance will hold their annual Gardenia Festival in tea this coming Tuesday at the Sons of Burgundy Hall. Admission is free. I want you to take hold of your prayer clothes. Better yet, take hold of your radio and let's do a miracle. But first, I want to talk about doing what's right. Those of you who are out there listening to these radio waves of comfort, you know what I'm talking about. Every day, this program reaches out into the darkness and pulls lost souls from the grasp of the devil himself. Oh, but now I don't have to tell you that the Lord's work does not come cheap, my friends. So I want you to get up right now. Take out an envelope, fill it with whatever you can, and send it today. We both know that doing what's right. I ask you, my friends, have you done your share today? Or are you being carried by those dedicated souls who support this ministry with their generous gifts and offerings? Remember, my friends, faith that costs nothing does nothing. Simply send your gifts of faith to Reverend Bob, and your name will be blessed. Hallelujah! That's it for this week, friends. Enjoy the wonderful, wonderful music, and may God watch over you. At Giant Discount Bookstore, we discount every title. I'll be back later. Have fun. Interesting design for a trash can. Must have been on sale at Cops on Ross. It's not going to look any better somewhere else. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? What do you know about voodoo? Me? Nothing. I'm a Catholic boy. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? I'm not allowed to give out information on police cases. What can you tell me about Nolens? I'll tell you, I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. If it weren't for that one month a year, being a cop in Nolens would be a real pleasure. As it is, I'd rather stick behind this desk. I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley at the front desk. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yeah, I got something for you, all right. As soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's out at a crime scene. Sorry. Where's the crime scene? Is it related to the voodoo murders? Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky-loos than are probably already there. Tell me about yourself. Who, me? I'm the desk sergeant, Frick. Why? Frick? 
That's right. You got a problem with that? Not at all. Tell me about yourself. You see that front door? Yeah. Well, I watch people come in. See this book? Yeah. Well, I write people's names in it, see? People that bother me. Want me to put your name in this book? Oh, I think not. That's what I thought. Hey, nice precinct. Think so, huh? <laughs> That's peachy. That means more to me than you could know. Tell me about yourself. I hate people who ask stupid questions. What can you tell me about Narlin? Best food in the world. You can get it right here in Narlin's. Mufaletta sandwiches. Mm -mm. Beignets, good Cajun coffee. Yep, a man can die happy in this city. It's practically guaranteed. Here's that envelope for you, Gabriel Knight. Thanks. The envelope from Mosley is a plain Manila one. It feels pretty light. Envelope from Mosley. Gabriel opens the Manila envelope and finds two photographs. One of the photos from Mosley is an official voodoo murders crime scene shot, a graphic close up of a victim. The photograph of Mosley was apparently taken upon his graduation from the police academy. He had hair then. The label on the hair gel jaw talks about mysterious Hawaiian roots and ancient oriental secrets. The copy is almost as believable as Gabriel's novels. A police officer is either off-duty or patrolling the park, or both. Good day, officer. Yeah, you too. Keep moving. Uh, coroner requests assistance to... You white-faced geek! You wanna eat my fist? There's a police band radio on that bike. Mind if I use your radio? What are you, nuts? Forget it. Touchy. People seem to be enjoying the park, despite the lack of sunshine. That jazz band is pretty good. Of course, most jazz bands in New Orleans are. That jazz band is pretty... A lone drummer beats out the haunting rhythm on a large African drum. Well, I never! Leave me alone, you, you, you man! People seem to be enjoying the... A bronze statue of Andrew Jackson marks the center of Jackson Square. It's one of those mimes. Oh boy. Since Gabriel can't read lips, he's disinclined to start a conversation.
or Cajun band. Inventive as always with their instruments, is having a good old time on the lawn. Funny how catchy that toe tapping can be. Knock it off, you, before I shove this washboard down your throat. Since Gabriel can't... Gabriel. It's one of It's one of those. It's one of those. Hey, cut that out. I told you to stop uh, that. All right, mister, you want some of this? Why, you little... Gabriel picks up the headset and listens. Get away from that bike. Sorry. Hello, beautiful. It's me. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. I'm going out. Don't hurry back on my account. Hey, mostly. Huh? Night, you wiener. I told you not to call me that. Feeling jumpy? Who, me? Don't be stupid. How'd you find me? Oh, I was just driving by. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I can let you see it for the book. But don't tell anyone, huh? Definitely another voodoo murder. Same M.O. and no freaking clues. We're still waiting on an ID for the body. Oh, that's disgusting. Isn't this a rather public area for this kind of thing? Yeah, they're freaking ghosts, these guys. 
Lakeshore Drive isn't exactly the 10 Expressway, but it is open to the public. No reports of nothing. Now, who the hell is that? <clears throat> Good day, Miss Getty. What's going on, officer? Detective Mosley, ma'am. Uh, we got a little problem here, but nothing for you to be concerned about. I see. Thank you, Detective. And good day, gentlemen. I'm in love. Forget it. That's Molly Getty. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Near here? The lake's a popular place for country clubs. If she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Nah, nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, you just don't go around bothering people like her. We've about wrapped it up, sir. Well, let's get the meat wagon moving, then. Stick around and take notes for the book if you want. Watch out for the muck in the water moccasins, though. If you want to talk, I'll be at the station tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>